Hello Tiki. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with input variables as part of the Power Automate desktop. Now, in this session, we will learn how to work with output variables. As we know, the main purpose of input and output variable is to exchange the data between cloud and desktop flows through these input and output variables. Now, we will learn how to add the output variables from the variable panel. There you can see I'm having input or output variables. There you will find plus icon. Let me click on plus icon. And there you can see I'm having input and output, All right? Now I'm going to work with output variable so that I'm going to select output variable. Now this output variable adds a new variable to be used as the input or output. Before that, in which cases that we're going to use the output variables? For an example, if you are going to pass a employee name from the cloud flow, and then you are going to retrieve the employee ID as an output from the Power Automate desktop, in that case, we are going to use output variables. Now, if you see the parameters over here, the first parameter is the variable name. What is the variable name? I'm going to give employee ID is my variable name. And the data type, we can see over here, we are having text, number, boolean, custom object, list, and data table, right? The employee ID, mostly that will be a text in string format. Now, to make you understand, I'm just going to give it in number format. And then you can see the other parameter is the external name. As we know, this external name is different from the variable name. This external name will be visible at cloud platform, correct? I'm going to give the external name as desktop underscore employee ID, that is EMP ID. And there you can see, I'm going to give the description. As, a, as return, we'll get employee ID, all right? Now, if you observe the other parameter, I'm having mark as sensitive. If you are going to use this variable with sensitive data in such a way like account number, password, email IDs, and many more, in that case, we'll mark this output variable as sensitive. For the time being, I'm going to mark it as non-sensitive and then I'm going to click on save. Now, to make you understand, I'm going to use set variable to set the employee ID for the output variable. By using this set variable action, we can set the value of an existing or a new variable, right? I'm going to select a variable over here from the variable pan. There you can see I'm having employee ID. I'm going to select that. And the value, I'm going to give the value over here that has 10001. And I'm going to click on save. Now, what is this purpose of output variable? Is to exchange the data between cloud and desktop flows, correct? Let me switch to make.powerautomate.com. And there you can see, in our previous tutorial, we have used run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop flow. In that action, we have used the parameters as desktop flow as input and output variables and run mode is that attended and the input variable that is desktop underscore name we have given it as hello world. Once we run this cloud flow, we'll get an output as desktop underscore employee ID. Now, how can we go ahead and we will know that? I'm going to add a new action by clicking on plus icon and there I'm going to add an action and there I'm going to search for compose. There you can see I'm having compose action inside my data operation. Let me select that. There you can see at the parameter, I am having inputs. At the input for the compose, I'm going to select the output from the desktop flow. All right, now I'm going to select the function over here and then I'm going for the dynamic content. There you can see for the run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop, the output is that desktop employee ID, right? Which is the external name that we are going to get it, right? I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on add. Now let me save the cloud flow. Our cloud flow has saved successfully. Let me click on test to see the output, what we are going to get as an output from run your flow built with Power Automate for desktop. Test flow, I'm going to select automatically because of we have already triggered our desktop flow, correct? I'm going to select with a recent use trigger and then I'm going to select test succeeded, which was done earlier. And then I'm going to click on test. 
cloud flow execution started with the manually triggered a flow and then now it is starting run a flow built with power automate for desktop action now as part of run a flow desktop inside this action we are calling input or output variable desktop flow where we are having display message that is with the name of display name as a title and the message is hello world let me click on okay now the cloud flow has executed successfully there you can see when i'm going to click on compose to see the output variable which we have received from the power automate for desktop flow over there you can see i'm having the output over here right the output is that 1001 is the employee id as we have returned from the desktop flows let me go back to the desktop flow there you can see at the employee id i have returned the variable in the employee id output variable with the value 10001 all right as part of this tutorial i hope you understand how to work with output variables to exchange the data between cloud and desktop flows